Volume 2, Part 2, Chapter 11 of Democracy in America is called On the Particular Effects That the Love of Material Enjoyments Produces in Democratic Centuries. This chapter features a contrast between aristocracy and democracy. In Chapter 12, Why Certain Americans Display Such an Exalted Spiritualism, Tocqueville briefly discusses American itinerant preachers and religious fervor, pointing out that religious follies, such as bizarre sects, are rare in Europe but very common in America. In Chapter 13, Why the Americans Show Themselves So Restive in the Midst of Their Well-Being, Tocqueville examines restiveness, or unease, or absence of calm. Americans often display a melancholic demeanor. In Chapter 14, How the Taste for Material Enjoyments Among Americans is United with a Love of Freedom and with Care for Public Affairs, Tocqueville correlates in America between the love of freedom, hard work, and guaranteed material well-being. In Chapter 15, How Religious Beliefs at Times Turn the Souls of the Americans Toward Immaterial Enjoyments, Tocqueville characterizes the observance of Sundays in America, in which the commercial and industrial life of the nation seems suspended. In Chapter 16, How the Excessive Love of Well-Being Can Be Harmful to Well-Being, Too Much Devotion to Material Well-Being Results in the Decline or Destruction of Well-Being and Hurts the Soul. In Chapter 17, How in Times of Equality and Doubt, It is Important to Move Back the Object of Human Actions. Tocqueville explores his own favorable attitude toward religion. As religious faith decreases, people focus correspondingly more on the present, an attitude that sometimes furthers brutish indifference. In Chapter 18, Why Among the Americans All Honest Professions Are Reputed Honorable, in democratic societies, there's also a positive prejudice in favor of work. American servants do not feel degraded by their work because the whole society is employed. Even the President of the United States works for a wage. In Chapter 19, What Makes Almost All Americans Inclined Toward Industrial Professions, Tocqueville asserts that equality is correlated with tastes and habits that lead people toward commerce and industry. And in Chapter 20, How Aristocracy Could Issue from Industry, Tocqueville speculates that the possibility that commerce and industry, under certain conditions, could cause a return to political and social aristocracy if masters and workers settle into a complacent, stagnant relationship of command and obedience.